Hello and welcome, my name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this video I will show you how you can easily make your own custom vector map using Google Maps and Adobe Illustrator. And for this video I will be using a website called Snazzy Maps, I will leave a link in the description. And uh, here are some examples on the different types of styles you can make using Snazzy Maps aka Google Maps. So as you can see we have some different color coordination going on, you can colorize the water, the roadways, and the land. And there's some more different examples here down below. So to begin, on Snazzy Maps, let's just go to create a style. All right, this should be a good location to demonstrate the styling. We have some land, we have some water and roadways. As you can see here, we have some default styles. This is the default Google Maps style. We also have a light style, a dark style, and a monochrome style. But I'll just use the default style for now and just click apply style. So to begin, let's remove these different points of interest. So we can scroll down here until we find point of interest. Go to the labels, visibility, and turn these off. And as you see, when we make a selection, this little dot appears. And that just lets us know that we made a change. If you want to undo that, you can just click this little button here to reset the style. But I'll just keep that off for now. Next, we can remove the road names. So let's just go down to road labels and turn that off as well and let's see if we can remove this text here okay so that was under the landscape natural and text and i assume this would be the water water labels off okay there we go so as you see we have the land or this is probably a park this is your landscape and then this is your water so uh, let's first change the color of the land here. So landscape, geometry, color, custom color. And let's go ahead and make this white. And now we can go to our parks, geometry, color, custom color. And then we can make this a different green color. And then the water, geometry, custom color. Let's do a darker blue. And then finally the roads, geometry, color, custom color. Uh, let's just make this a dark gray. All right, so now we have one, two, three colors. If you're including white, then you have four colors. So let's say this is the map that we want to export and vectorize. You just want to go to this little picture icon, click download, and let's increase the dimension so we can get more of the visible map. And this expands from this center point. And then scale factor, let's make this 3x. So that will just be the highest resolution. And uh, using this website, you get 10 free downloads per day if you have an account. That's a free account that you can create. And um, now here's what I would recommend you doing because unfortunately you can't export this as a vector like a, an SVG or EPS or even like a PDF. It will be a PNG. So how I would go about this is to export as many different images as you have colors. So in this case, we could ignore white. When we image trace the map, we won't trace the white color. So we can just export three different images and that will be our landscape our road and our waterway let's just go back to our styles so we can just exit out of here and let's first export our roads so let's just go to our parks and geometry custom color and make this white and then let's remove the water so water geometry and make that white and um you can find these different colors. There's like this little plot of land here in this green color, but I'll just ignore that for now. You can play around and find out exactly where that is. But now we can go to our image download and download this, and this is just gonna be our roadway. Okay, and now let's export the water next. So let's hide our road, and by hide I mean just make it white. And now let's go to our water. Make that a blue color. Okay, perfect. Download image and let's export this. 
Perfect, and now finally, let's export the park. So let's make this river white. Go to our park. And make this our green color. Back to download image and download this image. All right, now let's head over to Illustrator and vectorize these images. All right, so in Illustrator, I brought in all three images that I exported. So here is the park, the river, and the roadway. So let's hide um, both of the bottom layers, the river and park, and then let's select our road image and let's go to image trace. And personally, I like to use the black and white logo image trace option. Uh, you just get like the most clean and crisp lines I find and lots of details remain. But if you want to keep the exact same color, then you could also do three colors or high fidelity. Uh, in this case, I will actually do black and white because we have these light gray colors, but if I use black and white, it'll just make it white anyways. And let's improve this image trace. So you want to go to your image trace panel, drop down the advanced. We want to ignore our white color. Okay, make sure that is white. And then uh, let's just bring our paths up and our noise down so that will give us the best image trace. So we can go ahead and click expand and then close this. So now if I drag this off the artboard, you'll see that the white background is gone, which is perfect. So let's just actually undo that. Hide this. Um, and if you want, you can make this your gray color that we made in uh, snazzy maps, but I'll do that last. So now let's go to our river image trace. Uh, we could do black and white again, sure. We can colorize it all later. I guess the blue color was not dark enough, so let's just go ahead and do three color. So again, go to our image trace panel, ignore the white color, increase our paths and decrease the noise, and then hit expand. And now finally, let's enable the parks and image trace, and then I'll just choose three colors once more. And again, increase the paths, decrease the noise, and then export. And make sure the ignore white color is on. All right, so now if we enable each of these layers, you'll see that it makes up our entire map. And now if we want, we can just select um, each one of these layers individually and colorize it. So I'll make the rows a dark gray. And you can either change the uh, individual layers, like the river water color, if you would like or the park color. And if I hit command or control on your keyboard, shift and D, you'll see that our background is transparent. And then using the direct selection tool, we can just select this text at the bottom, remove that. And yeah, you can continue refining your vector map and if you want to smooth out these uh, jagged lines or edges, you could also select, let's just do the park, for example. You can go up to object, path, smooth, and then you can smooth this out. But yeah, you want to be careful because then it won't be aligned to your roadways and all that stuff. But yeah, here's some different ways you can tweak your map. And yeah, that is how you can easily make a custom vector map using Google Maps and Illustrator. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.